What is up guys, Jeffrey Gaming here, welcome back to my F1 2016 career mode. This is the Canadian Grand Prix. If you are new to my channel, do remember to subscribe and also welcome here because this season has been awesome so far and you can see we're all the way up fourth in the standings, just ahead of our teammate which is absolutely brilliant. Though our driver position has not been so secure but I recommend the last race. Please go check that out, amazing scenes for the Renault team. Oh. Hi, how are you today? The improved package has arrived. We're having it fitted in time for FP1. Have a look at the factory report. So here we go, another upgrade. I have mentioned it a few times, but for new for you new guys, um, I will not be doing the practice sessions. So it's to keep the R and D pretty realistic. So the result points we only get from qualifying and the race, and it seems like we can get an upgrade around every three four races. But we can see Sahara Force India have had a couple of upgrades. They've desperately been needed because Force India is starting to tumble in the uh, vehicle performance comparison. We're above Mercedes, which is incredible considering we're not even halfway through season. Two. But Red Bull lead from ourselves and look at Mana. God, look at their development ahead of Williams who actually have won a race this season. So over to qualifying. We're currently in P16 on our final run. It's been a very good lap so far, but eight tenths up. Can we negotiate the final chicane? I did put a tire on the grass, which wasn't the greatest of tactics. Flying over the curbs, short run to the line. Where are we gonna end up? We've got to get near the front of the grid. Nearly a second quicker. Please tell me, engineer. He sounds happy. He sounds happy. It's P4. Oh, that's brilliant, and I think we're beating our teammate. Yes, we have. Rosberg takes pole position, and we are slotting in behind the two Red Bulls. We've beaten Palmer, which is very important for our personal rivalry, because I've only won one rivalry against him out of five overall, including with Raikkonen. But Raikkonen's struggling at the moment, so if I was against him, I'd be smashing him. So Raikkonen down in 16th, but we'll get ready for the start of the Canadian Grand Prix. It's raining as well on intermediates, five lights and away we go. Can we get a good start? Can we get the traction down? Up through the gear, side by side with Verstappen, we're a little bit out of control. Don't hit Ricardo. just look for the gaps and try and make up a position. We are on the inside of Verstappen, a slight nudge tie to tie, so not too much, uh, uh, severe contact there, but we're looking for a position trying to get up to P2 and you can see we're twitching around Just trying to get used to these tricky conditions, but I seem to perform very well on the intermediate tires in uh, light rain so based on the uh, I think it was mainly season one because this I think this is the first rain we've had in season two But uh, as we get to the start uh, No, the DRS straight even we're trying to close in on Ricardo. We got an awful run there coming out the hairpin, but we're slowly gaining on the Red Bull. The Red Bull does not have the straight line speed. We do with the Renault power unit. And we're going to go for it up the inside into the chicane. And Ricardo outbreaks us. Is he going to turn in? He doesn't. So he kind of lets us through there. We get ourselves up to P2 with a solid move, but we know the AI when they go side by side with someone into the final chicane. They lose so much time. So we've got a huge gap to Ricardo now. And now we're not too far behind the leader. Nico Rosberg as we've dispatched the two Red Bulls but uh, to, just to confirm it's tricky conditions I'm trying to chase Rosberg down but I make a bit of a silly mistake I'm lucky this is tarmac now I just totally skip across it no warning though for corner cutting that's a bit concerning with the uh, penalty system but Lap 3. Me and Rosberg do have kind of a similar pace but I think at the moment I am slightly quicker than him so can we get close enough to go for a move before the chicane we're closing in on the Mercedes oh look at this straight line speed we're going for the lead and we've taken the lead before the uh, final chicane and it was an easy move then we pulled on Ricardo there we go cautious through there and there we go into the lead Ah, oh, brilliant uh, race so far we seem to have some pretty good pace let's see if we can maintain it with the fastest lap of the race very nice very nice indeed but we move on to lap 8 now uh, things are starting to feel a little bit trickier. The track is drying out, the rain isn't as heavy, it's obviously not uh, time for dry tyres, but Rosberg is putting me under more pressure. We did have a gap of around one second, but the last couple of laps he's been slowly eating into that gap, and you can see coming up here, oh, making silly mistakes like that, putting a tyre on the grass, we skipped the final chicane. I don't think we actually lose any time there, but you'll see from the replay, just a silly mistake, keep the car on the track, and then you'll see on board with the Rosberg what it looked like. 
Uh, did we gain any time? Maybe a tenth or two, but uh, yeah, no attempt of making the chicane, which was probably a sensible decision, but we're really struggling now. Lap 10. The track is drying out, but we our pace is nowhere at the moment. And we've made a mistake. We've locked up on wide. Oh, we're doing a Sebastian Vettel from 2011. And Jensen Button takes the lead. Uh, but Rosberg gets an awful run there. So we luckily maintain the lead. But uh, yeah, Rosberg's definitely quicker than us. And even quicker behind him, I think, is Daniel Ricciardo. Yes, in the Red Bull. The Red Bull does seem to be performing quite well in the past five laps. Definitely reeling myself and Rosberg in. And now... I'm seriously struggling and I just want dry conditions right now because Rosberg's on my tail and he's got Ricardo all over the back of him. Is Rosberg going for the move here? I think he is. I'm going to leave him enough room but look at the confidence on the brakes Rosberg has. He takes the lead but we're going to go for a bit of a switch back, try and get the position back but Ricardo and I don't know who's behind him. Is that Hamilton maybe? Um, yeah, making it a bit of a four car train. So Rosberg's going defensive here. So we're going to go a little bit deep, try and go for the switch back and get a decent run. But we've made contact. Ricardo's given us a nudge. Oh, we lost out to Rosberg. Ricardo, I don't think it's going to get through. But you see from the replay, on board with Ricardo. He just kind of puts his nose in there unnecessarily. He wasn't going to get a move done. Just unnecessary contact in it. It actually gave him the advantage going down the DRS straight as he gets a great run. And is he going to go for the move up the inside? He is shaping to do it. And he's better on the brakes than myself. And oh, we just get there. We're side by side, but we there's just enough room for us to maintain second. And once again, the AI just can't negotiate that final chicane. Now on lap 14. It's another mistake. Oh, just breaking too late. We're lucky not to get a penalty. I have corner cut, I think, about three times by now. Lucky it's not on uh, strict corner cut rules. But, yeah, we set the fastest lap of the race with that corner cut. Uh, bit, bit shady there. But we make up for it by going wider turn one. I mean... I was amazing, I had fantastic pace in the first seven laps, but since then, it's been such a struggle. I wanted it to dry so badly and I thought, is this the moment? I'm going to take a risk because I'm losing too much time to Rosberg. I want to win a second race in a row, which would be absolutely brilliant. So we're coming into the pits and I thought in terms of strategy, I could go on the soft tyres, but I think because the pit lane is very short, thank you, we've just been jumped by Hamilton, I'm going to go for the ultra soft tyres and do two stints on them. Because I think I can make up the deficit of about 18 seconds, I think it is, for a full pit stop. But as we go to, to try and get the position back from Hamilton, we are struggling so badly. Where is the grip on these tyres? I mean, the track is still damp, but it shouldn't be like this. And it actually was a struggle. So I think the AI going to the end on the soft tyres, while I have to make a second pit stop to go on another another set of the ultra soft tyres. I thought I'd be able to make up the, the time, but this first lap has been a real struggle. Hamilton's just behind me. I think Rosberg's going to maintain the lead. Are we going to jump for Stapp? And yes, we are. So we're back into P2. Fastest lap of the race, even though I went into the, into the pits. Yeah, that's a bit of a strange one, but there Rosberg takes the lead again, and it looks like he has extended his gap, which is annoying, and these ultra soft tyres, I'm going to be honest, just weren't working, and I was kind of regretting the strategy after a while, because I just didn't have the pace, I think... Uh, the tyres mustn't be up to temperature and the soft tyres are just gripping to the track better because of the wet, slightly damp track. It's not that damp anymore, but still, the Mercedes are performing better than me and I take far too much kerb in the second section of the chicane. And is Hamilton going to go for the move? Yes, he's got the inside line. He should get the move done, you'd think. He does set the fastest lap of the race. Two seconds quicker than Rosberg. But I, I suppose Rosberg came out the pits, I think. Um, yeah, we'll see he did, but uh, we're fighting it on the inside. Just, oh, still twitching. We just need the track conditions to come back to us, and then we'll have blistering pace. But no, we keep Hamilton behind for now. And yeah, I'm just thinking right now, if I just gifted the victory to Rosberg, because I knew I could take the softs to the end, but I thought this strategy would work out. Hamilton's got to run into the chicane. Has he got DRS? I think he does, actually, but he's taken a straight line into the chicane, so if we get a decent exit, we should be able to get him back, as Rosberg once again sets the fastest lap. And Hamilton's pretty quick here. He does have DRS, but can we slither the car up the inside? We're looking, but he cuts us off, and he takes second position off us. Verstappen's pretty quick, and he's closing in on us. Oh, if we lose a podium now, we just need the track conditions to come to us, use this tyre, have a blistering final stint, and we could fight back. Is that being a bit too optimistic? Because Verstappen's coming at me now. He's got DRS. My rear tyres are struggling a little bit. And the Red Bull is coming past me, is he? Yes, much more confident on the brakes. Max is definitely a late breaker. 
And I think he's got the position. Are we going to fight back? No, we don't have enough pace. And yeah, lap 25. Now, I was closing back in on Verstappen using DRS. And in the second DRS zone, the, I knew the tyres were slowly coming back to me. And we've got DRS to go for the move. Are we going to go for P3 here? Fastest lap of the race. That's what we need. Up the inside. Late breaking. I think we made slight contact there. I don't know if... Uh, Max turned in a little bit early, but up to P3, and now the tyres were coming back to me. Even though Max is in uh, the DRS zone and about to use DRS, and I thought, this is the time to come into the pits. We'll uh, get the tyres up to temperature and just blast through the laps, and hopefully be two seconds a lap quicker and maintain a podium position. So we're coming in for our hopefully final stop. Ultra softs again. Come on, we need car performance. Are we going to drop behind our teammate? No, I think we should come out in 7th ahead of Palmer, just behind Perez. But you can see the grid compared to the first pit stop a lot more and it didn't take long at all to catch up to the back of Perez. It already felt so much better. I felt so much more confident and I thought, here we go. Put the engine up to Rich Mix. We're going to blast through the rest of this field and hopefully... I don't know, could we get to Rosberg in the lead? It might be a bit too much. The uh, gap was 20 seconds I got all by my engineer, but we'll come to Perez first. Up the inside, fastest lap of the race, with a pit stop as well, which is pretty impressive. And there we go, up to P6, can we get Ricardo? And then Vettel ahead of him. I think Ricardo did have an engine issue, or uh, an issue with his car. And he might still have it, I actually can't remember, but yeah, just straight lining every corner, trying to make the track as short as possible. Now, I was looking for them to move, but into the hairpin, so we could get DRS as well. Bit greedy, but I thought I had to go for it. Up the inside, just such great control on these tyres. The grip was fantastic. I was putting in fantastic laps. Constant fastest lap of the race. There we go, making the most of DRS here. Now we're trying to close down Vettel, trying to get into fourth. We could salvage a podium, which is the minimum I would have expected for this race. And Vettel struggling on his soft tyres. We're on the fresh ultra, ultra soft, so coming back isn't as difficult as you might think. So, slipstream DRS, this should be a breeze really, and we go for the move, and there we go, up to P4. Now we have a gap of about 6 seconds to Lewis Hamilton, and that could be us on the podium. Oh, it was going to be tricky, it was going to be very tricky indeed, and now we're skipping to the final lap. I can see Hamilton, a podium is in my sights, do we have DRS? I was pushing so hard. Seriously, oh, just trying to keep the car on the track without corner cutting, but getting as close to Hamilton as we can. We've got DRS, that's the key thing. Can we get him into the final chicane? We're going to get very close, I think, but is it going to be close enough? Are we going to go for the move? This will be so risky. Rosberg's won it. Oh, we're so close. Can we get a good exit? No, we've hit the curb too much. Oversteer, DRS, can we get the position cut to the line? Well, we're not going to get the podium, are we? Damn it. It's P4. Oh, this, I, I guarantee that strategy would have worked if we had the tyre temperature in the first stint. I'm devastated. We were only 11 seconds off Rosberg. I think touch and go for the win, but a definite second place has been lost there, sadly. But, yeah, yeah, if you did enjoy that, do leave a like. But I was slightly gutted after that, especially with the early performance in the race. Our teammate finished eighth, so more solid points for the team. I mean, consistent finishes is what we need, and that's exactly what we're getting. And Raikkonen, 15th position. Not looking good for him, so into the driver's standings. Rosberg leads the championship, equal on points to Ricardo. So close. Close. We're not too far behind Hamilton in fourth place, so we'd ha we've had a great start to the season. My teammates in sixth, and a few different names, I suppose. Perez up there in ninth. Carlos Sainz won a race, but um, has only scored one other point. And Verline in twelfth. The manners are doing pretty well now, even though they didn't score any points here. It shouldn't be a surprise if they get a good result. Raikkonen, seven points. Wow. That's a terrible performance so far. We'll skip over to the constructors now and we'll see that we're in third position. Not too far behind Red Bull or Mercedes, but I think it'll be a tough ask to get into the top two. So we're aiming for third here. So if you have enjoyed this Canadian Grand Prix, please do leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next race of my career. Goodbye.